Mark Crossword here with Golf Online looking at Callaway XR Steelhead. This is a blast from the past, this club. It reminds me so much of the X range, so X12, X14 in its looks, which to be honest with you, I'm quite enjoying. I'd always love to look at those clubs. So we're getting a 360 cup face design. That means the club is cut out all the way around from the top round to the edges around to the bottom. There's a channel that runs through. That's gonna help those ball speeds stay much stronger across those different parts of the face um, as they move weight from out there so sort of out the rim of the club and move it into positions that will help you more often off the face like you can see here from this undercut and packing it more in the heel and the toe now it's got a chroming finish with a silver face down by the ball it's got a little bit of offset which I don't mind um, like I say it looks not the most friendly iron out of all the Callaway um, irons that are out there, but when I tested it and got the numbers on it, it was going as far and as good as any of their clubs that they produce. It was strong in its flight, it makes that sound off the face like it's going to be strong. It's a loud clip and goes a little bit like a rocket flying. Anyone who's enjoyed using the X ranges in Callaway are going to love this one. It's definitely one you should go and test. If you're looking for a bit of help with distance in your irons, this is going to do it. It does it because they change the spin model on the club, so the ball, the spin uh, drops off. Maybe goes a little bit lower as well, which you want to be wary of if you are getting these and you're someone who doesn't launch the ball particularly high. Again, it shows the importance of going and get custom fitted with any of these golf clubs. Callaway Steelhead XR. I'm really enjoying that one. I'm enjoying just the fact that it looks like the old ones as well. I think that's pretty funky. But uh, if you're looking at this club, definitely go and check it out on Golf Online's website. And give me a comment. Let me know. Is this a club you're going to try or not? Do you remember the old X range? Let me know. I'd love to hear.